Hey guys, so today is a really unexpected video because it was an unexpected find these. So today my husband and I went to a store here in Hawaii and it's in a couple different places as well. Um, for military, it's called the Navy Exchange and we were getting um, bins for my dolls because we're moving soon. So I wanted to get some nice bins to pack them away so they're nice and safe. So of course I had to go to the toy place because it's me, a collector. And um, at this specific uh, location, their toy section is like in a big tent in the middle of their uh, parking lot. So I looked there, was expecting to find um, maybe uh, the girl of the year from American Girl early because this place doesn't really follow rules of times and stuff sometimes. So I was like, okay, maybe I can find her. But no, they didn't have anything good. They just had like, um, Courtney and Mary Ellen. But that's besides the point. I decided to look at the LOLs and OMGs and Rainbow High. They had like zero Rainbow High. They had a bunch of Jet and Big Amaya. But that's it. Then I looked a little bit and I saw this, uh, right next to the Big Amayas and stuff. They had these really, uh, different looking doll boxes. I was like, what are those? Are those, those, I thought maybe like, oh, I actually completely didn't know what they were. So I was excited either way. But I looked at them and they were the GCDS, right? GCDS, yes. Uh, Bratz dolls. And I was like, I actually screamed and I'm surprised my husband didn't get annoyed by me. But, um, sorry. Uh, yeah, I got both of them. If you saw my Instagram post or story, they were actually just on the shelf like regular. I haven't seen anyone find them in store. So I was like, that even tried me even more. But anyway, let's look at them real quick. So I am opening them here today with you. So don't worry about that. They're not gonna stay in the boxes. I'm keeping the boxes, but anyway. So here's a uh, Yasmin. I love the random artwork. The artist behind this is really creative like gorgeous Brad's piece and then random dinosaur. I'm not a designer knowing person, so I don't know much about GCDS, but maybe that's a thing they do. I don't know, but here's the side or the back. I mean, there's palm trees. Um, sorry for the glare too. Try to make it not as glary. Um, there's a moon, the girls with a passion for fashion, uh, GCDS Bratz, uh, the dinosaur T-Rex dude. It says, the girls got dressed up in Italy. So it's an Italian brand. I think I knew that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, Passion for Fashion, Yasmin. Uh, I love how they still don't capitalize their names, which is unique for brands. They do that quite often. Um, on the side here, it says, shoes borrowed from Chloe. I don't know if you can see that. Right here it says shoes borrowed from Chloe. Which I don't know why that's there, but it's cute. And then it says GCDS wear right there. And then it has some all rights reserved, all that nah stuff. Designed by I'm not gonna say their name because I don't know how to, but there it is right there. But yeah, there's Yasmin. So, so for Sasha, I already opened the, I didn't open her, but I opened like her inside casing. So the plastic around it is off already. So there's that. She's like a spooky tree. So Sasha, a passion for fashion. The girls got dressed up in Italy. So on hers, so that's the main reason why it surprised me that it said she was borrowed from Chloe. It doesn't say anything right here on hers, like, that special. I don't think it does anywhere. But that's okay. And on the back, there's like a tent. Um, trying to, there's like a design on the tent, but I don't think it's anything specific. But yeah, her box is nice too. I like the spookiness of it. So the doll's boxes open up with a magnet on the bottom here. And you can open them and that's how she looks inside. Very pretty. Hers has a moon on it. I wonder, I don't, I haven't opened Yasmin's yet, but I'll show that in a second. 
but there's Sasha. We'll look more, I don't wanna pinch myself. <laughs> I'll look more at her when she's out of the box. So let me, uh, let me just cut this real quick. Or cut the stickers off. Yeah, I didn't expect to get dolls at all today or at all before I left besides the uh, Encanto uh, four pack that I bought from Walmart. I ordered it and it's hopefully gonna be here in a couple days before I leave. So anyway, here's Yasmin's. Uh, hers also has the moon. So I think it's the same inside. And there are, uh, there's art on the back of the dolls too, which I'll show more as you can see a little bit. All right, so I'll open these up and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let me fix the camera. Okay, that's probably fine. But I'm back. That took way longer than I expected. But it's okay. They're cute. And the boxes are really nice. I'm definitely keeping them. Uh, of course, hoarding. That's fine. But one of the things that don't really matter, that I don't know if it matters or not, I haven't opened it, maybe it does matter a lot, um, is directions. It came with directions on the bottom of the box. It just explains stuff about the base in a bunch of different languages. So, anyway, let's start with Yasmin. Yes, let's start with Yasmin, since she's the first one I showed earlier. So here's her stand and here she is. So we'll look at the doll first. So the weight of these are really nice. Um, they are, here, let's take her glasses off so you can see her pretty face first. Um, they feel like brands. They don't feel cheap at all. Um, they do have the uh, 2018 bodies. Is, is that what era this is? I don't know. But um, yeah, take her purse off. So they have posability in the shoulder and the wrist. And of course the arm, they can go back and forth. And can they, sorry Yasmin. They can't go in and out with the legs, but they can go back and forth and they can bend their knee. And their head is of course the regular brat's head. They can move a little bit to the sides and up and down and back and forth. Um, her dress is of course the main focal point. It has some artwork by the designer, I'm assuming. Um, here, put your sleeve down, girl. And spread your wings. It says Jade, Sasha, I think Felicia, too. Because she has yellow makeup. Maybe it isn't Sasha. Maybe. Unless Sasha has yellow makeup? Yes, she does, so it's probably Sasha. Anyway. Um... The dress is silky material. Uh, it has some f flowiness on the bottom, or on the inside, I should say. Uh, it has this repeating designs of the girls. Uh, it goes around on the back, of course. See, that is such a simple thing to do, but nowadays certain doll companies can't even put the design on the back. So, it's nice to see. Uh, her, uh, belt is held together by one of those little clamps that, like, are, are on necklaces and stuff, which is nice. Uh, it says Bratz on it. I thought this would be metal, but it's plastic. Um, her necklace, uh, she has, I think, let me see real quick. It looks like the dress goes over her neck a little bit under it, so I think it does, but it says, uh, GCDS, of course, right? Yeah, it says the name of the brand. Um, her hair, let's, has this, uh, metal jeweling in it, which I think I saw Ariana Grande do it for the first time, at least the first time I noticed, I'm not saying she's the first one to do it or anything, but the first time I noticed, and I always loved it, I always wanted to do it with the doll, but I knew I probably would mess it up somehow so I'm glad to have one that, that already has it in her hair um 
her earrings have a uh, of course GC DS on it um her skin tone is a little bit more orangey than uh like some of the Yasmin's we we're used to I think this is about the same as what the reboot not reboot uh the 2018 collector ones looked like but her face is gorgeous like this purple and some is that even green and then some green highlight I don't know what I don't know makeup but there's green in there too it's not highlight it's like pigment I don't know anyway but there's Yasmin it's face eyes I'm still working on her face uh her uh lipstick has a uh, lip liner of course like a lot of brands do which I always love and it's like a dark pink I could say I know that's like probably a specific color for that but um her head sculpt is probably the same as always 2001 of course yes um her shoes are really cool for brand shoes I've never seen brand shoes like this I don't think that actually like have the heel out like this there probably is some, I'm just not thinking about it. Um, they come off like regular brand shoes. There's no holes on the bottom, so they can't go into the play sets that, and stuff, even though the only time I ever use the holes in the bottom of their shoes is for the Rock Angels stands. But besides that, I don't know why they have holes, but these ones don't. Um, she comes with a, a purse that is see-through. And it says GCDS right here. Can make that out. Like right there. And on the side on the zipper it says Bratz. Not working, but fine. Excuse me. Uh, you can definitely just put some stuff in it. Not very much, or it's not gonna be really, excuse me, the hiccups, uh, to get out. But it's cute a cute dress or dress purse and she has these uh cat looking um glasses so she can wear some cat looking glasses they fit perfectly on her face she's not gonna wear these <laughs> so there's her um i'm curious to see can i do this without Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna see. I'm curious if her under skirt is a separate piece because on her uh, arms there's an under piece. So maybe there's two pieces here. And there's not. So it's just regular one piece of it, which I expected, and it's fine. Um, her hair has a braid in the back as well. I'm gonna, I got a little bit of flyaways here, but she's okay. Um, there is a little bit of gel, but I'll probably just rinse it out because I'm not gonna, I mean, I could redo this spray. That's not any problem, but I don't want to screw this up. So I'll probably just spray this and brush it out. Maybe, um, she has this rat nest part right here. So we're gonna have to figure that out yeah it got caught in that part that's probably from my fault though from opening her wrong because yeah but here's her stand um they're really nice uh it's really big i wonder if they connect they probably don't but on the bottom it just says 2021 mga yeah that's it the stand is uh the holder is clear it has, it's very similar to Rainbow High, this part. Um, this little part is small to fit the brats. And then there's this that comes off and there's a little gift inside, which I saw someone open these once, but I don't remember what's in this. So a little card, this is really cute. Let's carefully open this part. There we go. Oh, okay. It says a bunch of shit in different languages. That's annoying. See, it would've been really cool if I could've displayed it like, holding like this. 
but this is all different. I mean, I could do it with different languages. That's not a big deal. But the English part is on this side, like up here. It says this limited edition Bratz doll has a full designed by Guliano Calza. That's not how you say his name, and I apologize, sir. Um, creative director of GCDS, uh, the cer certificated. <laughs> you know I can't say words. Authenticities that your doll was carefully created and designed through the collaboration efforts of Brad and GCDS. So it's nothing really important, but it's a certificate of authenticity, which is great. Not numbered, but great. Okay, so there's that, and you can put it right back to normal. Barely looks like it was removed. On the inside, it like has like a marble look to it, in my opinion. So I'm curious if you can, if you don't have a lot of room, if you just can use this. Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, if you can just attach her to the small part and um, she can just stand with that part. Yeah, okay, perfect. So she can just sit up there for now. All right, now next for Sasha. I'm not gonna show the stand because it's the same stand. So let me get her off real quick. So here's Sasha. She's a lot heavier because she has more hair and a gown, not a gown, a jacket of some sorts. <laughs> so here's her purse. Um, it's a golden piece. Um, it probably can open, but I'm not gonna try. I don't think it can open actually. That's fine, it says GC, DS, and Brats. And there's a chain. Um, let's give that back to you. This reminds me very much Corella de Ville, the colors, but of course it's not spots, it's GCDS and Brands, which is a, I understand that these dolls are a, what's the right word? Designer, the designer is GCDS, but that, I guess that's the thing I don't understand about design, uh, designer stuff, is it just repetitive of the same name, which is fine, it looks nice, it's just not my cup of tea. And on the inside, it has a bunch of her logo, um, which is cute. I actually like when they incorporate their uh, logos into stuff because it makes it a use for those logos more than just a corner of their box or something. Um, she has braids, which is really nice. They feel, they don't feel as nice as swags from lol omg but they're really nice and i think that's the first brat or first yeah probably first brats too first sasha brats doll with braids micro braids um it's in a bun up here and it goes it's like in a pony uh, i think it's attached to something in there yeah it's her hair in the box was attached to a bunch of different strings and that stressed me out because i didn't want to unravel any of them but she looks pretty fine to me. Uh, she has earrings that are gold and say Bratz. Does it say GCDS? Oh, they just say Bratz, nice, okay. Um, she has her uh, edges too, which are really pretty. I love uh, the different look they took for this too. They're a lot longer than what you would see, say on Rainbow High or LOL OMG dolls. Oh, okay, so there is one in here that is unraveled. If you can see. Um, if I stretch it out, will be better? Okay, it's a little better if I stretch it out. It's in the middle, so it's not too noticeable, probably. Maybe. Um, her chain uh, bodice, I think that's what it would be called. Um, there's, like, shells. I just realized that. They're, like, shells on her chest. And dangles of... I think this is metal. I believe this is metal. And she has this bodysuit, which I I love the look, but it's not my favorite. I definitely prefer Yasmin's outfit, but I definitely prefer the doll itself of Sasha. 
um, in the back here. Oops, she threw her purse. Um, it's connected by the same thing as what Yasmin's was. And it has like her shoulder uh, straps. Uh, she has the same possibility, of course. Um, the mesh part has, or I'm sorry, the bodysuit has a mesh part on the sides. Um, I think there's a mesh part on the top too, yeah. Mesh right here as well. Um, there's none on the back, really. Her shoes are my favorite, oh my god. I love the details of her uh, golden heel. And on the side it says GCDS. And I was like a bunch of details of boot covering, like boot material look. Excuse me. Um, on the back, I haven't seen anyone point this out, but in the back she has like this, uh, the part where like you like wrap around your waist, I think that's what it is. Or is it to keep the coat wrapped up? I don't know. But she has a little part and it's actually lined on the inside too, which is cool. Um, on the uh, sides here, it says Bratz on a little zipper. If you take your shoe off, uh, it ends right before the heel. And yeah, that's her clothes. Now for her face, uh, she has some yellow and black uh, makeup, very uh, bumblebee looking. I love that. She has blush, of course. Um, she has a lip liner. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people uh, have defected Sasha's so where her lip liner is kind of raised too much or like her lip isn't colored in all the way, um, which is a little bit same for mine, but it's not nearly as issues. Like you have to really look at it in order to see that. Um, it's like a dark red lip. I love dark red lips on dolls. Love it. And her eyebrows are actually really pretty. Are they the same? Can't see, she has her glasses on. I don't feel like taking them off. But yeah, there's Sasha. Um, her eyes are her regular brown color. Um, I don't think she has any different uh, highlights in her eyes, but her eyes are pretty. Um, her stand is the same. It just is, yeah, it's just exactly the same. And it has the same thing in the, in, inside. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, again, this video was not planned at all. These dolls were not planned to get at all. But look at us. Let me let me get a picture. Uh, a view of both. Okay. Sasha, help Yasmin take these off. Okay. So here are the girls. Yeah, she definitely feels a lot lighter than Sasha because Sasha's boots, I think, in coat. But they're cool. They're ready to go do some stuff. They didn't have Felicia. They had Cameron. Which is whatever. I'll get Cameron someday. He's the only other uh, original 2020 dolls. Or 2020. Uh, 2021 re, uh, 20 year anniversary dolls. Is what I'm trying to say. That I don't have. Besides the Rock Angels. But out of the main core girls. But it doesn't matter. Stop pulling hair. But yes. Okay. Here are the girls. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Um look for a live on my instagram i'm probably will go live with these uh and i'll save it into my reels the video obviously will not be what i'm trying to say i don't know i'm uploading the video tomorrow today for you follow me on instagram please that's where i'm better with my head dolls and lizards Thank you for watching. We got ugly at the end. Sorry.